Think, thunk, think, thunk, tank. It's time for Thunk Tank. Hi, welcome to Thunk Tank. My name is Calvin, and I didn't think, I, I don't think about things. My name, my name's Andreas, and I've changed my physical geographic position multiple times. Daily. My name's Eric, and I just interrupted Andreas. Screw you, Andreas. Fuck. All right, we got to take it again. Okay, you know, on. you know how. Uh, no, no, no. Don't we know? We... Think, thunk, think, thunk, tank. It's time for thunk tank. The other. Hi, welcome to thunk tank. My name is Calvin, and I'm out of focus. <laughs> my name's Andreas, and I am. I'm joined here by my two brothers. A legal and a biological, and uh, <laughs> only one of them the law applies to, which is weird. My name's Eric, and I just learned the law does not apply to me. I th I think so. I think you're above the law. That is uh, both awesome and terrifying for anybody who knows me. That is too much power any for anyone to have. So I'm going to start off with saying, have you guys seen the uh, the new Cowboy Bebop trailer? Yeah. No super annoying good? really super oh, really? upsetting why is live action why is it upsetting well for one it seems awful why it's a live action anime yeah. adaptation. it can't be good that would violate the rules of reality i think it was it didn't it didn't grab it it feels very much like someone who was like oh we're doing this but live action okay yeah, yeah we'll do that but didn't like really get it you know well, all I, the beats were wrong. The I disagree. Wrong. I disagree. The beats were wrong? Like the story like just, beats or the jazz beats? Because they're little, both those things. Kind that? of the jazz beats, actually. Oh, it, you didn't I only, like the jazz. I only saw the trailer. I haven't seen the actual show. Um, so, I mean, I was kind of... I, maybe I'm judging it too harshly, but I think that's my job. Because uh, this is my job. Uh, <laughs> And it just seemed like it was uh, too quick. wasn't like as cool and laid back. I'm fixing hey. my uh, camera. Should we just stop the podcast? Then? No. Oh, oh, good. Then, then just... pretend, pretend the camera doesn't exist. Um, fine. It's on. Just it's... replace your face with puppies. It yeah, could, it's couldn't fine. be a, a not an improvement. Yeah. Everyone and puppies are always better than people. Uh, just keep talking. Tell me about this. Uh... Yeah. So cowboy bebop trailer. Kids these days and their live action anime adaptation. Back in my day, we wanted a live action anime adaptation. We had to do it in the backyard with a video camera. So well, shouting all our sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> No, I I didn't mind the thing at all. Actually, hmm. really? what it was, I actually liked it. I thought I'm I'm looking forward to watching it. Um, yeah, I'm excited about it. So hot take: I didn't like the original Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> I choose to love the live action. Ah, <laughs> screw you all, haters. God, let me guess, you also really didn't care for Avatar, but you loved the live-action movie, Oh, right? no, no, that's not acceptable. I... I didn't watch all of Avatar. What I watched was fine. The movie wasn't as bad as people say it was. It wasn't good, but people give it more hate than it deserves. It deserves hate, but the level of hate, I think, is excessive, and I think that's due to them really liking the animated series. Yeah. It's like I, as a person who's really liked the animated series, that it <laughs> the movie was pure vomit trash, and like like taken it on its own, it wasn't bad. It was. Uh... I can't take it on its own though. Well, I'm, yeah, but I'm I'm I was going, you know. Oh my gosh, I want to see these things. Uh, actually, actually, I think I might have watched. Uh, avatar the avatar movie first before i binged the whole series that's wild. weird i never I, saw the movie like, i thought it was know. trash 
And then well, you was. binge the whole series. And I loved it. Hmm. It seems like a decent series that I haven't finished. Like, it, it had some really cool and original-seeming ideas. I uh, just sort of... Couldn't give a fuck, yeah. I, I watched a bunch, then I didn't for a while, and I lost where I was, and I'm not going to start over from the beginning, because oh. I've seen these all already, and I was like, eh. Yeah, it but... wasn't good enough that I'm going to watch it a second time. That's why it's... I hate that where you... I didn't like it enough. It might have been great. Where you've like like haven't watched something for a little while and you're like totally lost as to what it is, what's going on yeah. in it, and then you're like, okay, I guess I can't really. See. I either need to sit down and watch like all of the last season and get my bearings again, or yeah, that's yeah. worse. I actually just did that with uh, Young Justice. Hmm. Young Justice. Yeah, it's I don't like know a, Young Justice. It's like a. Uh, uh, not Teen Titans, but DC it's Justice Comics. Justice League Teen Titans, yeah. Yeah. And Gross. I, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I liked it. It it was hard to watch the first season, but afterwards it was all pretty cool. Hmm. Saying like off brand Teen Titans it's is not, like saying off brand Wall. It's not off it's like they didn't want to call it Teen Titans. Because there was already Teen Titans. Okay. Oh, wait. Justice League is the correct universe for Teen Titans. That's right. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. I thought it's it was like, like Marvel's version of Teen Titans. And I'm it's like, got, Marvel ah. should do a version of Teen Titans. It would be better than whatever the shit DC is doing. With Teen yeah, Titans. but that's just because Marvel does better than DC does because they figured out how to manipulate people better with film. All film is manipulation. All art is manipulation. Um, are we doing ideas today? Uh, yeah. We, we've yeah. already started. We already started. Up. We did. I just said all art is manipulation. All art is manipulation is an idea. Uh, is all yeah, manipulation art? Yes, that's why uh, salesmanship is the greatest of art forms. That makes me bad. It's terrible. But, right. you know, some dude sold a crucifix cover, crucifix covered in piss, and like, he, he, you gotta sell that. You don't just nobody just goes like, "This is what I want." <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I don't know this story. It's the salesmanship that makes it art. There's a famous artist. He, he, I think got his Na National Arts Association grant withdrawn for his piece called titled like "Piss Christ." He's oh, okay. Fairly yeah. famous. You've yep. heard of no, this probably. I know of yeah. This. I know of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. He sold that? That 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 sold for His real dollar money? Sell. Yeah. You would be fucking shocked what people can sell as art. And yeah. that's why salesmanship is the greatest of art forms. Yeah. It's art like, doesn't exist without salesmanship. It's like there's this trick of becoming a recognized artist. And if you can do that, then you can make the any kind of garbage that you want. And people will pay a stupid amount of money for it. That's which is interesting in concept. How do we become a well recognized artist? So I think I think we start we well you gotta you gotta be very social and have a good face to it. You know, like you gotta talk to people and like I when I don't when I say face I don't mean you have to be like pretty or something. I mean you have to like be social. And you have to do like crazy striking things that seem deep. So let me pitch you on this. Step one, be deep. Step two, be attractive. No. Step one, <laughs> step be attractive. one, we open an art gallery in another country. Okay. Then we well, fake records of having sold our art for extremely high, high dollar amounts. Then we have an art show in this country. And we advertise, oh, no, he's super famous. They're super famous. They, they, they sold their last work, Pile of Garbage, in Germany for $16 million. Yeah. And now this is our, like, big city America debut. Yeah, they're a national treasure. And people treasure. just believe other people think our art is worth money. Sure. So if they don't like it, they're obviously wrong and they'll, they'll feel bad about it. And and so they're going to pretend they like it, even if they don't. And since everybody else likes it, they have to like it. So and that's a, how art works. I've got a cool art project. 
Please tell us. We uh we uh so there's two versions of this, one of which involves actual human remains and one of them that doesn't. Um so either you tell people <laughs> it's the so look, look, people people pass away and they are cremated, especially when they don't have uh you know, family. Okay. So what you can do is you get all you get the ashes of homeless people that have died and been cremated. Okay. Right? And then at your art opening, you have a gallon of milk and these and you mix it with the milk and you sell it for a hundred dollars. And it's a statement about how, how people are, are dispensable and the rich are ruining the world because they just don't care and they'll do whatever. Or alternatively, you just tell them it's the ashes of people and it's Ovaltine, um, which is probably better. You tell them, you don't tell them anything. You serve the milk and then you lie and say it's full of bodies and everybody gets really upset and they were like, hi, you're all idiots. It's just Ovaltine. And then they, they're still upset. And then somebody <laughs> secretly finds out it was actually bodies. And then you go to jail. <laughs> I like that last step. The last step where it's <laughs> right where everyone goes to jail. Uh, it's great. Yeah. How do we just, get, well, just how me, does this, how does this turn into profit? It gets you news. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Notoriety. As we learned, from last episode, all it takes to get a, a, a top best-selling book or song or something is like a minimal amount of interest. Yeah, it's probably depressingly easy to be like successful in music or book publishing because nobody does like any of those things. Like nobody buys songs anymore. Nobody. No, yeah. It's like a lot of streaming really and cuts. buying books is pretty unpopular too. Like people should buy books and read more. And they should buy my book coming out soon this year later called Dark, Dark Home. Homeopathy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, nobody's going to because uh, nobody buys books anymore. You just read shit online. Nobody listens I mean, to mu it's... buys music. They just listen to it on whatever Spotify. I think is the good one now. I don't. Remember. I think Spotify is the good one. Yeah, this is not endorsed or sponsored by Spotify. And fuck Spotify, but also I'm pretty sure everybody agrees they're the best. I don't know anything about that because I, I unlike normal people, stream all my music on YouTube videos. Yeah, that's how I do it. Yeah. I don't know why anybody does anything else. You know, you can download the audio tracks of the YouTube songs. Yeah. Well, technically, they download when they play, and therefore you have yeah. ownership over them. Yeah. It's my I property. own copies of of youtube songs i've made them legitimately you guys think that youtube will just instantly die uh the second that ad block stops working oh no 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 um people the watch youtube all the time it's a huge source of revenue for google okay yeah people people believe they ads don't are... ad block that's yeah so here's the and thing. phones uh is that uh, there's ways to cause the ads to come through in which Adblock can save you. For instance, uh, here on Twitch, Adblock does not save you. Right. Hmm. Uh, you get wait, 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 wait. If you're subscribed, you still get ads unless you use Adblock. No, 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 no. If you're subscribed, you don't <laughs> okay. get ads. I was like, I was like, that's madness. Uh, I believe. <laughs> if you subscribe, you get blockable ads. So, wow. Which, yeah, which you can do. Ads is a great feature. <laughs> yeah, what you can do is get. Uh, uh, you can you can blank out the screen while the ad goes across. Mm. Uh, with an ad mm. block, but you okay. cannot uh, make the video play. Yeah, because it's coming through on the video feed. Right, right. And you have to block Mark. the video. But YouTube hasn't done that. Although this is very well understood technology. I'm wondering mm -hmm. if it's because they're like, yeah, but we're popular. Just don't bother. Touch it. Leave it. Everything's working. Yeah, don't, don't touch it is almost certainly the mentality. Because, I mean, if it's not broken. It's so not broken. Like, right. Fuck it. Like, don't, like don't. I wonder if... Um, 
I wonder if there's uh... yeah people who don't care about seeing ads see ads people who do care and everybody's happy yeah that's and the, they, that's they... the key it keeps everybody happy right and it's like they'd rather have the viewership and the popularity than make sure everybody's paying their mm -hmm. yeah that okay. makes sense but like if they made ads unblockable they wouldn't lose that much i don't think people care about ads as much as like we do and i think i care less and less over time because i've stopped blocking ads in most places really yeah that's like interesting. not intentionally it's just like i haven't bothered to put ad block on all my stuff mm. Like, That's... as I get a new thing, I'm like, ah, uh, ad block's pain in the ass. You block Origin and you're good. Um, yeah. But, yeah. But uh, I uh, I have gotten more and more sensitive to ads. Oh, weird. I, they make me angry. Mo feel, <laughs> feeling manipulated makes me angry. That's uh, fair. Which is why I hated uh, Endgame. Um the, the Avengers movie? Avengers Ed Game. You, you just hated yeah. it. You, because... you didn't like how the soundtrack affected your emotions. That's right. Yeah, okay. You do know Correct. that all movies do that. I, that is You know true. that that's what music is felt... about, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the whole goddamn point hate of movies music. and music. And that's why I only listen to music that makes me angry. Face jazz. Because you were already angry yeah. because you were manipulated. I'm already angry, so the music's doing the right yeah, thing. Yeah, okay. It's, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah. No, yeah, you, you, you got around right, to it. Right, right. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. No, no. I, I that the music swell in in Endgame specifically made me feel things for characters I didn't like or care about, <laughs> and I was like, that's some bullshit. I shouldn't feel sad. I don't give a fuck. I'm on a plane. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's that's. Um, hmm. Yeah. So I hate ads. Uh, I feel uh, violently opposed to ads, and it's one of the reasons I uh, can't I can't live without ad blocker. If and I swear to God, if I hear that Google Fi ad, which so if you watch YouTube on your phone, like when I you're do. pooping, or I used to when I had a phone. Yeah. Uh, they have, there's a Google Fi ad right now. Google Fi is Google's new uh, phone service uh bullshit see, i don't see ads on my phone yeah that's that's for the best you, but i yeah, do but when i did have a phone yeah like yeah uh, I, I don't watch enough youtube on my phone for it to ever matter but i moved recently and i didn't have a computer set up and i so a little bit happened yeah and that, if i hear and if i hear their shitty ass jingle one more time i'm <laughs> gonna fucking i'm gonna fucking break something I don't Da, 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 da. A, a phone plan that can. It's a phone plan that can. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. They so got angry. you. They got you. Yeah, it's a phone plan that can go fuck itself, is what it is. Um anyhow, um so yeah, no, I'm that's my opinion on advertising. So I had an idea. Go for it. We're losing a lot of uh a lot of workers. Uh specifically. To yes. the virus? So, no, no, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting there. You okay, calm, okay, calm I'm down. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus. I'm so sorry. Uh, we're losing China a lot of workers. stealing our workers? Yep. The, they're, they're immigrating to China for the jobs. Um, no, Wait, uh, so, really? No, got that. <laughs> we're losing a lot of workers, and these are some of the most hardworking individuals we have. They have a heavy work culture. They really like work. They respect work, and they brag about how much work they do. And they're all leaving their jobs because they don't want to get vaccinated. And we should start taking taking advantage of them um, by giving them jobs that they can have without being vaccinated. Go so I'm suggesting jobs for go, unvaccinated uh, police officers and nurses. Right. So, this so, has potential. So here's the thing: this is a <laughs> large group of people that do desperately need work. Okay. They can't get work in their previous areas. Okay. So we offer them something where they don't need to get vaccinated. But of course, it pays a little less, you know? Sure. We're just starting out. Yeah. We're trying to be a haven for people who don't want to be vaccinated, um, you know, and all that stuff. Uh -huh. uh, so, so you can get slightly cheaper labor. 
-hmm. or maybe significantly cheaper labor because you probably don't need to give them health care either. Um, I guess if well, everybody don't believe in science, they shouldn't believe in health care, right? Comes with homeopathic health care. We'll give you a glass of water. Everybody, if everybody in the work environment is unvaccinated and you don't care about whether they live or die, you're actually helping by siphoning them into one place. Yeah, yeah, you really yeah. are. Yeah! I, I will say, it does sound like, uh, what are they called, plague colonies? <laughs> Maybe we could make it a, like a cruise ship. Yeah! <laughs> like on a cruise ship. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, God. And then you just sink Christ. the fucking ship. Um, <laughs> oh, man, you know what? We could have anti-vax cruises. This, anti-vax yes. cruise. This are you an anti-vaxxer? Come to our anti-vax cruise. Entirely staffed by anti-vaxxers. This pandemic has been going on so long that I forgot about all the pandemic cruises. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? You know what you also probably forgot about? Murder hornets. Oh, yeah. Nobody it, forgot about murder hornets. I did. What you think I forgot about murder hornets? I just hadn't thought about them in a long time. Yeah, it's been like a year and a half. Yeah. It's crazy. We've been through Badness. an election. We've been through all sorts of shit. It's fantastic. Election and insurrection. Thanks. Yeah. Next up is a resurrection, am I right? Ooh. Oh my god. That that would be perfect. Perfect trilogy. Yeah. Actually. Have we election, have we... insurrection, resurrection. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna need a shirt. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna write that down. Have we uh has anyone ever come back? Not come back. Uh, has anyone ever been like, I am Jesus reborn? So the, anti the Antichrist in is supposed to get uh, a mortal wound in the head and be uh, healed uh, and therefore act like he came back from the dead. And can oh, like that senator who got shot in the head or like... Uh... Like that, yeah. Okay. What about just anyone that that's had a serious head trauma? I mean, they could be the end. Of <laughs> right, because, you know, what I was trying to do was, you know, <laughs> really pinpoint the Antichrist location. Get off your phone there, <laughs> boyo. This is an audio medium. No one can see you looking down. Or he's frozen. Oh, he's frozen. He's frozen. He's oh, not. He's not. He's oh, not God. on his phone. Eric <laughs> is locked just, uh, up. Eric, can you hear us? I hope he's entered a trance-like state. Um, so I, uh, I, I recently was driving, mm -hmm. and I listened to some talk radio. And talk radio he's is... Back. Hey, welcome back. Talk radio is a special kind of garbage. Yeah. We should get back to the anti-vaxxers in a minute. But talk radio is amazing. Because it's th these, these people I was listening to, at least, were not especially intelligent, smart, or funny, or really cognizant of what was going on at the moment. Uh, they just talk. They just talk a lot. And I'm not sure why that, that's a prereq for uh, having a talk radio show, but it seems to be. Uh, you don't have to be interesting. You just have to talk a lot. Hmm. So as long as I think we're filling sound here and this part of the podcast has noise going, yeah, we're fine. We'll just get Eric back. Because hmm. these these jabronis were like interviewing some guy who has a show coming out on Netflix and he had written a detective series of detective novels and they're like being idiots and not re like he says a thing and then they kind of say a thing and then he says a thing and then they basically like ask a question that he had answered two seconds ago in his previous statement like just like these guys have no idea what the fuck's going on they're just talking and it really uh really kind of got to me because i feel like i try to say words that make sense sometimes and like eh, i don't need to do that i just need to make noises mouth, mouth noises and that's why i'm starting a new podcast a daily podcast called mouth noises where i sit in a chair for 45 to 35 minutes making mouth noises are, and you can listen to that and pay me money how how serious are you about mouth noises oh not very serious but maybe i should do it yeah should i, I do a daily podcast where i uh make mouth noises yeah i won't be listening but i want no, i'm gonna God encourage no, you to <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd like to encourage you to do that. Are you going to be talking or are you just going to be making noises? I can actually. No, I think I'm going to make, I'm just going to talk. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, there's got to be an audience for you just dumping whatever bullshit's in your head. You know, like, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, Eric has disappeared. Yeah, well, yeah, he'll come back. Uh, what's that guy? Uh, the fucking podcaster used to be an MMA guy, and he's now taking. Oh, uh, J- Joe, uh, I've done DMT. Joe Rogan. Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> Did you call him Joe? I've done DMT. Rogan. <laughs> oh, fantastic, Joe Rogan. If you listen to him, ninety percent of the, his conversations are him just kind of like shitting out whatever happened, dumb shit happens to be in his head. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's that, that's that's a low bar. Mm-hmm. I can vomit out words that are thoughts i've had come let's have a let's have a let's have a little moment you want to okay. you want to just say a thing you've thought today that's in your head doesn't have to be intelligent or should i just should i go first uh i don't know if i yeah i lead me in in the right direction here i don't really know what the right direction is i think that's the point uh but t- today i was putting down this powder on my carpets to make them not smell like wet dog. Uh, and then you vacuum it off. Uh-huh. And it's mostly just baking soda. And I realized I had no idea what the other ingredients were. Uh, and I looked at them, and that didn't help me at all. Uh, but, you know, it helped, and it's mostly baking soda. Uh, so I'm really glad like to... Is this is what you want to do? <laughs> How about this? Here, I know that Eric's not here, and so that it's hard to do a full-on dunk oh no this is fine i'm having um, a whale of a time let me keep talking about baking soda i don't want to talk about baking soda anymore have you noticed how arm and hammer has an entire Just company correct. based solely around a single chemical that they're like baking soda it's like arm and hammer toothpaste it's baking soda and i don't know stuff to hold baking soda together sodium bicarbonate yep yeah like isn't that-, that like heated bones that are ground up no. or something what is sodium bicarbonate? I don't know. We've lost Eric completely. Hey, am I back? Oh, your audio, your audio-wise, you're back. Yeah. Okay. Hope I think too important. Oh no, video's back. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I'm a real bull boy. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. It, yeah. You go. Well, I'm a real bull, and it went wah. And then, oi. <laughs> mm. Well, due to ongoing technical difficulties, I'm going to be replaced by a heap of puppies. Nice. Uh, do, you wanna, do you want your video off and, and see if that improves our situation? Oh. Give that, that a shot, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, that probably helped a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Um. Well, maybe maybe I'm better now. Who knows? Yeah, it sounds a lot better. We were discussing uh, sodium bicarbonate specifically and how Arm & Hammer has an entire company based solely around we put baking soda in it. Well, I, I didn't they just mass produce baking soda for a long time? And then they're trying to like branch out and be like, oh, we put baking soda toothpaste and deodorant and other shit. Yep. Yeah. Good for them. Okay, so it's, it's not from bone, I think. Oh, where does baking soda come from? Are we Googling things? Yeah, that's not, yes. we're that's not we're Google not supposed things. to Google things. That's not okay. Can I tell you about uh, the thing I've been thinking about? Like, all week, nonstop. I haven't, was yeah. it uh, joust? Joust? It might be. It might be. Look, it was so joust. Let's, let's, okay, let's roll, <laughs> roll, just, roll it back just a little bit. We'll try. How about this? It's a movie pitch, okay? Wait, did they not already make a Joust movie? The movie pitch, it's called Bird Nights. <laughs> the name of the movie. It's a shot-for-shot remake of Joust, but with birds. Um. It is about um, these four knights. Uh, there's the Cobalt Knight. There's the Gold Knight. There's the Magenta Knight and the Crimson Knight. Okay. Um, Magenta Knight and Crimson Knight. Yeah. They're- very confused about who's who. Look, look, he was good. He didn't want to be called the Purple Knight, okay? He was like, that's, okay. that's a dumb... And then they were like, mauve? And he was like, no. 
And they were like, okay, I guess magenta. Nobody is even knows what mauve is. His name's probably Marv <laughs> he didn't anyway. Be, so he didn't want to be the periwinkle knight. You know, like, look, he's had, he, it wasn't good for him. Anyway. Um, and they are, uh, they are in, at, at war with the Crow Kingdom. Stupid crows. Yeah, and uh, the Crow Rider, uh, king of the Crow Kingdom, he's a uh, he's a very bad, terrible guy. They um, they all have like these cool like lances, and they fight each other in the air. And then uh, so the real big twist at the end is that the Crimson Knight betrays uh, the the Bird Knight. Okay. Uh, he's actually working for. He was just a spray painted. No, he's gonna. Yeah. He's he totally has a. He's a bird rider. Aren't they all bird, bird riders? Rider. Yeah, yeah, they do all ride birds. And then you get to like, so it's gonna be like the the birds that they ride. They're very cute, and they're like, uh, so so it's kind of like a CGI animated movie where like they're, uh, you know, yeah, it's gonna be good. I think it's good. I wanna. I I think. I feel like you've pitched me a movie that's like, look. There's forty guys, and they fight the bad guys, and then one of them turns evil. Yeah, which, to be fair, is like ninety percent. Ninety percent of the movies. Movies, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot so of movies. I want to say that's a terrible idea, and that I want to ridicule you because it's derivative. But to be fair, that's ninety percent of movies, which means pretty acceptable, and I, they'll totally make that. Yeah, and I think it'll do really well. You got Have birds you guys in it. seen the movie? Battleship based on the board game Battleship. I have not. I have it. You? How was it? <laughs> it's pretty bad, but it's not like deathly unwatchable. So it won't it... kill you. That's... Well, no. most things won't. Uh, is it no matter uh, how bad they hurt? <laughs> just looking at the like um, the posters for this movie or the like DVD covers or whatever, I feel like. This is a um, hit anthem. Uh, anthem was those, a bad game. There's shitty, shitty movies like uh, Sharknado and mm -hmm. uh, but the, the wor even worse than Sharknado ones with yeah, like the, low, the low B, CGI the... budget. <laughs> uh, Mega Shark versus uh, Giant Octopus. Yes, exactly. Um, I feel like it is. A movie made by them, but with like a real IP and a higher budget. How close? I I, I challenge your claim that Battleship is a real IP. It's, it's a board <laughs> game where you put pegs in plastic boats. It's not a real IP. Is is the IP claim they still have good? An IP? <laughs> probably. I, Parker Brothers probably still owns that forever. Fuck. But like, I, no, it was like, yeah, it was Sharknado quality. Okay. Movie. I think it might have had a music celebrity in it. I don't remember. I don't remember the movie. It was really forgettable. The only memorable moment is when one of the alien like things come down and it's a big red peg. No. Absolutely. They integrated the pegs. How do you have the IP for battle? Ship <laughs> and not you got the ships. But you didn't need to get the battleship IP for the ship. No, Aliens we, aren't like copyrighted. They needed the need, IP for the pegs and the name. I, they didn't need the battleship IP for <laughs> fucking anything. No, <laughs> but they had a terrible movie otherwise. They had a terrible uh, movie. Nobody anyway. would see. I'm gonna have well, to yes, watch this saw now it because it was battleship. I'm gonna have to watch this now just for the giant red peg scene. Is that yeah. on YouTube or something? I'm gonna just you look probably around. YouTube it. Yeah, watch the watch thirty seconds and save yourself two hours. Oh, two hours! I can't imagine. It's probably not two hours long. I don't know the runtime. Is there like a lead actor? Yeah, it's some some generic dude. Okay, so wait, wait. Let me let me pitch you this. Right. Okay. No, no. I'm gonna pitch you a better battleship movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please. It's, it's the Cold War. Oh, I like it. Very much already. Already, better. already it's much already better. better. It's the Cold War, right? And uh the and the US is doing a uh like a military uh they're they're trying it's kind of like an olive branch thing. The US go government and the Russian government are doing a battle game type deal 
with school children, right? So like maybe, oh, maybe it's not, it's not an olive branch. It's, it's a national competition, right? Okay. Uh, or international. Like, like that high school thing was where you did like the mock UN or whatever. Exactly. Exactly. But so what it is, is it's war games, but they're like naval and it's kind of like battleship. Um, and so what this is, is like this, like middle schooler, maybe, uh, you know, who's probably got like some family drama at home or something or whatever, uh, is like, just really loves the game. And, uh, and he gets really good at it and they he like wins state and everyone's like oh that's crazy cool but he goes on and like he wins and no he doesn't win national he loses nationals okay and the russians assassinate that kid and <laughs> attack the u.s and he has to come in and do play the war game and like and like actually has lives on the line in a in a naval conflict with russia I love I love the idea that Russia has killed the battleship champion. <laughs> I think that's just so stupid this might actually oh, Maybe he he plays the Russian uh guy and the Russian guy beats him and he loses for the country. That might be worse. I don't know. What but... if okay, what if instead of like the actual battleship game where you're doing like D four and things like that, it it's is gotta be a yeah, way very more. serious uh war games like a uh, tabletop war game yeah where you're like pushing the ship with your little pushy thing i think it is i think you get rid of the grid completely yeah i think you're firing sh shots and things you can't necessarily see and arcs and, and stuff like, like that yeah and then later on they've got him in the war room and he's actually moving the things and he's like this is just like i've been doing you know in my tabletop game yeah that's right he can have that nice moment of oh my god i've been this is this is the same I but like this. he definitely loses a ship and like they, yeah. someone says like Tons so many souls lost like, yeah you know and he goes like and he freaks out and he has to leave but he's like his older sister who run like the was the family drama comes back and is like no we all need you you can do it or something you know i don't know fucking oh 80s it's movie basically show. yeah ender's game yeah, it's basically it's basically Ender's yeah. Game, but but with yeah. battleships and in the eighties or seventies, probably the eighties. I think it feels eighties to me. Yeah, I don't it know does. It does. It does projecting. feel like an eighties movie. It feels so. I know it's like Cold War eighties. Is it exactly? What you want. Yeah. Get get <laughs> Netflix on this. That's a brilliant idea. God. Get Netflix you know and do? Parker Brothers. Get them back. Fuck that. We could just call it like like war the, the game or something like that, and it's fine. We'll Warship. call it warships. Warship. <laughs> it's, it's Warship a, wars? Just battle a boats. ship battles. Battle, battle boats. boats. <laughs> battle boats. <laughs> it's just like the subtitle. <laughs> the subtitle is screw you, Parker Brothers. We made a better movie movie. <laughs> <laughs> we call it something dumb and it's really good just screw you <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny oh god but like it's so easy to make a decent movie out yeah. of a fucking like right like, at the pitch at the pitch it's extremely easy to make a good movie and then you look at what the pitch must be for some of these movies that get made <laughs> and you're like how? How did somebody go? Not go? No, stop! Probably stop right now. That do that. <laughs> so how did no one go? How much did we spend on this IP? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? If it was a hundred dollars, it was too much. Wait, the one with the pegs. Uh, as movie budgets go. <laughs> <laughs> God, um, Crazy. man. It's, uh, so I, I don't know. What do you think about the Bird Knights? Is that going to sell? I think Bird Knights, you're going to have to add more drama to it and yeah. more story. I think there needs to be romance. Mm -hmm, I, think, mm -hmm, so I agree. Here's what I'm going to say. I think yeah. you have three options. One is Bird Knights is a game people are playing. Oh, like a Ooh, sport. Like, like it's a, well, either a sport or it's a video game. 
Or, As if yeah. Look, or I both. want giant... Video game sport. I want giant birds that people are really riding. Okay. So that's important. So if it's if it's real, you got to have some plot there because it can't just be fighting. But Feel the plot obvious. from Rollerball. Easy peasy. I don't know Rollerball. What was the it's plot a future sport where uh, countries settle their disputes through uh, this sport. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, so it's RoboJocks. Like but with, it's with... Liter- yeah, it's RoboJocks, but I like how we the remake of the. <laughs> I like we each said the a different remake. movie that it was. <laughs> Uh, I stand by Bloodsport though. Bloodsport was a good a good pull for me. Nobody was was settling international disputes though at Bloodsport. That's because they had or that that was international. That was about as international as you were gonna get. Well, that's like saying the Olympics, like Robo Jocks and uh, Rollerball. It's like instead of wars, we're doing this. God, I I just. I think you know what? Here's here. Let me pitch you on another movie. It's that, except suddenly one country's like, eh, actually, we're gonna do war, and all the other countries have to like use their sport teams to like fight the fight against actual soldiers. I that's like what pitch. realistically, they just nuke them. Oh yeah, that's true. That's Anybody true. who steps out of the Robo Jocks line just gets nuked. Hmm. So Was that okay. in the movie? Here's what happens. And everybody I, would be okay with that. It, there's there's a wizard, okay? Okay. okay. The wizard yeah. comes in, and he stops ah. all of the nations from fighting, and he gives each of them a bird. A giant Ooh. bird. Ooh. And, four, and, and seven, seven birds for, for, for the Americans. That's... <laughs> <laughs> and in the darkness, two birds. <laughs> So that's happens, happens. He gives them birds, and if your bird dies, your country is taken over by whoever kills your bird. And there's only four different nations left. Ooh, so yeah. And like, it's all, oh, oh, and like, two of the birds. Oh, I'm going to say like, one of the birds represents like two thirds of the, the planet. Hmm. And like, what? And one one of the other birds is like clearly a puppet bird. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like a puppet. Like you know, they're clearly under in under control. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and then it's like the last free bird, and like Switzerland's bird. That like but Switzerland. Swi- I, Switzerland's what? crazy. They've got the and, last free bird. I I think yeah. no, like I think. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna divide it up. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I think it's like America, Europe bird. Okay. I think it's China, Russia, Australia bird. I think it's Switzerland bird, and I think it's like Africa and the Middle East bird, which maybe is actually too weird and shitty. So maybe you just like have random countries that this bird has taken over that are completely unconnected. Yeah. See, the thing is that yeah, it's whoever you take out. That's the one. That's what you've, yeah. You know, so assimilate. You just, so at first, it just was a free for all, land grab, protect your bird type thing. Well, you take out the bird of whoever you think is first going to try to take out your bird. Right. Of course. Um, yeah. At the beginning uh, of the movie, um, uh, Russia kills the American bird. Yeah, I think that's how you do it. And uh, but it turns out that they uh, they poisoned him. Ooh, they cheated those dirty. Doesn't matter. Russian rules. And just then, like wizard. Rocky Four. Right, and then the wizard comes in with the crow, <laughs> uh, this giant crow bird, and he starts hunting all the other. Like he's like, oh, if you're not gonna play fair, then he starts like, and everybody's got to take out the wizard on the crow. I think most of them have already fallen to like human greed. Sure. So like you've got four birds left. Yeah. Like the wizard was like, like I'm gonna, uh, you know, like I'm gonna solve this. But then it turns out, you know, you can't stop. People are shitty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the moral of the of of, of bird nights. Okay. Well, I think it could be a really so, good redemption got a tale quote for your exit screen. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I like this could be a really good redemption story, right? Because like you've got Russia bird, 
which like now controls the US and is responsible for a ton of shit probably. Sure. Right? And then you have like three other countries. And I think they should be like underdog countries that like mostly hid. You know, and your redemption story is like the Russian bird like has to stop feeling like has to like what's what's the term stop being fucking uh su- feeling superior and has to like train these other three up into a team and to do that they have to like really give up a lot of their their uh you know uh national is this the plot of cool running i don't know i haven't i haven't seen cool <laughs> runnings but uh i'm gonna say yes every movie is other movies just different all art is theft uh, yeah <laughs> Oh. But um, but but this art happens to be cool theft, so that's that's nice. Uh, and then and then I think they fight, and the Russian bird obviously dies. Yeah, I I think there's a theme. This 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 whole episode has had a nice theme of of how shitty art is. Um, Cold War. Yeah, Cold War art. Get uh, get to... <laughs> guys learn anything today uh episode yeah I, I learned that i actually really like my battleship movie hmm. that's i think i need to watch more 80s movies um i, should, I learned I that it, andreas needs to watch cool runnings yeah also yes was it in from the 80s 90s i think it was the 90s but no, I might fuck, i'm sorry wrong. i've got a lot of movies to get there before <laughs> i can go to the 90s john candy's in it you gotta watch it I don't know who that is. <laughs> you don't like candy? I don't know any. I don't, I don't know actors. You, you know. <laughs> yeah, we've, 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 that's what it's solidified. I think we've established that. Yeah, Wait, very, he's very, the one from Pineapple Express, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, God. Is John Candy in Pineapple Express? I don't think I, so. I assume not. Are you sure? I no. S- Doesn't he play a cop? Uh, cop? Am, I, am I retarded? <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think I might have some sort of problem. Did I actually say? I'm, I'm say not sure like, if you incepted John Candy into my memories of Pineapple Express. Do we have a? Do we have a? I didn't learn anything. I've googled him. I, I learned googled nothing. Him. What? Um, what are we calling this? Uh, what are we calling this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think we call it uh, Cold War art theft. Is the uh, what? Cold War art theft. Cold War art is theft. Cold War art theft. Mm. Or. Cowboy Bebop sucks. Deal with it, nerds. Cowboy Bebop sucks. Not the live action movie. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, I like Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> to be clear, I only like the live action version. No, um... And I'm looking forward to the live action version. But I will oh, totally God, make well... a Cowboy Bebop sucks. Uh... Uh, thumbnail, thumbnail and title, absolutely. Yeah, use the live action picture, and then on it we'll write like Cold War art theft with a Call of Duty uh, guy on it because Cold Call Call of Duty Cold War exists. Well, I mean, I think I feel like the um, uh, the title and the thumbnail are right in line with because all adaptations of anime are. Theft from our cultural heritage of anime not being shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, oh with God! That, well, thank you uh, all so much for yeah. watching this this a very special episode of Thunk Tank. Uh, if you've got if you got comments, if you if you're concerned perhaps about the quality going down or us not being <laughs> funny, we would like to know. We'd like to hear from you. There's many many areas you can go. Join our Discord and yell at us in in digital person which is probably a very direct way of getting in contact with us um you also can tweet at us uh at i think thunk uh, tank thunk, thunk. Tank, tank tank thunk. thunk um tanked thunk fantastic yeah. uh we r- have episodes uh live every tuesday night at six eastern and then they just go out on the podcast mediums uh wednesday and we do a D D game uh us and our and other people who are more normal and sane usually uh on thursdays usually and that's also at six 
So thanks for coming by uh, or leave a comment on YouTube or something. I don't know. Give leave, us a Yelp review. Leave us a shitty Yelp review. Leave a comment everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Review us on Google. You already Play. rolled the credits. Oh, absolutely. That- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh,